Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So we have a new piece of equipment to demo here for you guys on the channel today. Brute Force Manufacturing sent us this log grapple and I wanted to compare it against this root grapple that we got from Stevens Attachments. So we're going to compare both of these and I'm going to put this thing through its paces and we're going to cut some logs. Stick around. All right, so obviously the first thing you're going to notice about the two of these grapples is the difference in shape. Uh, this one is going to be a lot narrower. This one's going to be much wider. Uh, so the overall length of this grapple here is right at about 29 inches. And this one over here is going to be roughly, let's see, 66 and a half inches. Um, I think if you were to take it all the way out, they say it's a 68 inch, but it looks like it's more about 67 and a half. So both of these grapples work extremely well for their intended use. This one here is made for picking up logs. This one here is for digging roots out of the earth and also picking up brush. Obviously with its much wider stance, it's gonna do better at picking up bulk material. This one with its narrower stance is gonna be better for picking up logs and sawing them up off the ground. With it only being 29 inches wide, if you cut your logs to 16 inches, you should be able to cut everything up in the air except for maybe your middle cut right there in the middle and then everything on the other side you should be able to cut up in the air as well this one you'd probably have five or six feet that you would have to drop on the ground and then cut on the ground but you'd still be able to cut some off the sides up in the air another difference of this brute force grapple is that it is a single cylinder here in the back it's a larger cylinder than what's on the stevens attachments root rate grapple but this one is a dual cylinder so you've got two cylinders on this one and a bigger single cylinder on this one over here. So another difference you'll notice in the stature between these two grapples is this one is significantly taller. Uh, so if you look at it, if you were to tilt this one down, this one's gonna feel a little heavier because you've got more weight up high that's gonna wanna tilt over on you. When you're sitting in the seat of the tractor, even though this one is probably heavier, this one feels heavier just because of the geometry of how it's laid out. One thing I will say about the brute force grapple is that the visibility is much better. You can see right through to your teeth on this one here, whereas this one, you really have to kind of poke your head out around the side to see if you're level or not looking at the teeth on this one. All right, so we'll talk more about this grapple after we get a chance to run it and try it out. Stick around.
Well, there you go. That's about what you can expect to have left on this brute force grapple. I'd say there's probably three logs there left, two cuts. So probably one right here and one right here. Um, I mean, if you were really skilled with a chainsaw and you didn't really care about damaging your chains, you could probably get in there and cut these off, but I'd rather not destroy chains trying to get fancy. Another thing worth mentioning on this brute force log grapple is the nose on it. I feel like it's a little bit longer and it allows you to kind of pinch a little bit better on the very end. On the root rate grapple, it seems like those top teeth aren't quite long enough. So when you go to pinch something, you might have it hooked on the bottom teeth, but the top teeth aren't quite long enough. On this one, it seems like the nose is just a little bit longer and you can pinch stuff on the end pretty well. So that about wraps it up for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few more poles and cut some more and get a nice pile of logs going here so I'm ready to split. Do me a favor, in the comments below, let me know which one of these grapples you'd find more useful. Whether you'd have more of a use for the root rate grapple or this log grapple here. I'm curious to see the people who watch this channel, uh, what type of grapple you'd prefer and why. But anyway, the reason I'm cutting all these logs, one, because it's firewood season, but two, we still have the Easton May 1222 and I have the new splitter standing directly behind me. I've been very careful to keep it out of the shots, keep it a surprise for the next video, but that will be the next video is the Easton May 1222 versus the new splitter that we have here. So the person who bought the Easton May 1222 is going to be coming to pick it up in a few days. So the next video we post will be the last video with the Easton May 1222. I hope you guys tune in to check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and check out some of our other videos. Thanks for watching.